Hello everyone, I'm Eduardo Rodríguez D'Argenilla and I'm presenting you this study that we want to present face to face in Team 2022 in October. The name of the study is Age Differences Through Consumption Habits and Motivations in Video Games Among Young Spiners. The study is um, include in my doctoral thesis and we are investigating the professor Felix Ortega Moedano and me. Because we have only five minutes to introduce you in this study, we will now talk about some general data and after we are going to resolve the hypothesis and research questions. First of all, we present the gender and the age range of the response. We have 50% of male response and 46% of female response. This uh, is a good data because it's in line with the data on video games in Spain that present every year the Spanish Association of Video Games in their white book. Out of the age range, we have uh, the most of the response is between 18 and 25 years old, that is the aim age we have we want a more response. We have 711 valid response after we eliminate all the response that don't uh, aim to the quality of survey we want to have. First of all, we want to talk about the percentage of video games in Spain. Literally, spending on video games will increase with increasing age is the, the first hypothesis. As we can see in the graph, there is a clear trend in those under 20 years of age as opposed to the 26 to 29 year old who spend more on video games. To understand this table, we, I have to say that in the left, to 0 to 90% is the percent of the response and 1 to 6 under the table is 1 doesn't spend money in money in, in video games and 6 spends a lot of money in video games. We can see that there are less response 26 to 29 year old in number 1 that there are less people spending no money and there are more people in the two to six that are spending money in the between 26 and 29 years old. So we can confirm that this hypothesis is true according to the statistical results. We can find differences in spending as age increase. The differences are especially noticeable between the youngest group and the group over 21 years old. We think the youngest people among uh, points to more free-to-play video games where you don't have to spend or pay for the video game and free games are finally uh, financed uh, by advertising, which is an interesting point of view and a way to study in the future. In the second research question, we have we ask that uh, are there dif significant differences depending on age in the motivation competition variable? As we can see in the data, we cannot affirm that competition is lower with increasing age, since in fact the values don't increase, but rather have a small variation between them. The motivation to compete doesn't influence to respondents the older they get. You can stop the 
the video and see all the data slowly. Finally, in the second research question, we, don't, uh, uh, we can clearly state that the use of video games increased during quarantine. If we look at the table, you can stop to see all the data. We can see that the percentage corresponding to less than three hours decreased during, during quarantine in detriment of the percentage corresponding to more than three hours, which has a significant increase due to the whole situation that was experienced, especially in Spain, with, uh, who, uh, who response are from Spaniard youngsters. The results show that were no significant difference in terms of all suspense plays in video games across age, and so there were some motivational differences. We have, um, we talked in the other questions about age, but in this case, we don't have differences in consumed hours during quarantine and mm, in a normal situation. These are the three questions we can solve with this study and we are introducing you some of the details about these questions that in the presentation face to face in Team 2022 we can solve all the questions and aport more details about the data we obtain. Thank you all for seeing the video and we see in Salamanca in October.